Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 17. So, what are we doing today? Well, I think that maybe we want to extend out our stockpile a little bit. That's what were you guys suggesting. I think it's probably a good idea. That being said, we can delay it a little bit just by moving some of these tables around. Um, stone cutting one, for example, we could put some chunks in here so that there's easy transport. Um, for that kind of thing. Mandox is idle. We don't really need any meat from him, though. Though I might just order a few hits here and there just to give him something to do. Like that wild boar. That cassowary. That one down there. And that's about it, really. Are you guys on your way out? You going? All right. See you later. We do have a lot of orders for um, hauling as well so that we can fill up this stockpile again. It has been getting a little bit low. So we'll need to solve that situation soon enough. What is our um, current... Our bills are actually paused right now. That's good. That is good. And as far as our walls are concerned, I think it's about time... We tried replacing some of this with um, granite wherever it's got marble for the most part. Because marble is one of the building materials for our buildings, more specifically. And we wanted to use granite for just the walls and apparently the flooring as well. So that's something that we probably want to deconstruct these to do. But we're going to need some granite. Here and there, so I might actually up the orders on granite just a bit. Let's just um, send it to 150 so it gets done. And then we'll order that to be redone later on. We have no power to our turrets right now. Oh yeah, because I've turned the switch off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, why is this not working? Where is this connection problem? Well, it's from that connection problem that I intentionally created. All right. Everybody's pretty much got their areas sorted. You apparently need a bit more granite tile in your room though, so we'll get that solved right there and then. And in fact, the trade caravan's leaving, good. This is now Mandox's room when he wakes up. Just as a temporary thing, this can be our prisoner room instead. There we go. Set owner to Mandox. There we go. And then Brian will finish off his room. Brian will finish off his room. Sweet. All right. So let me check that the... Uh... Yeah, that has been placed there. Fair enough. So once that's done, we have no real need to extend out our um, bedrooms for now. We'll set that to a prisoner one. It'll probably be done by the time we fill it, so might as well. You should be set to hunt. Are there any more animals in here that there shouldn't be? No, that looks to be about it. As far as our animals are concerned, we've got three alpacas. Two males, unfortunately. And I'm hoping they're not related anyway. And then four pigs. Yet again, hopefully they're not related. Ooh, chicken eggs. 71. Unfertile. Which means they're not going to be uh, hatching anytime soon. Which is kind of a shame. Let's get rid of the steel chunks in our kill box as well. We don't want them around. And in fact, they'll do better over here. All right, um, machining table's been built. That should be set now. Disassem disassemble the mechanoid, do it forever. So they should get rid of these guys now. Uh, what is the skill for this? It's smithing, right? Usually it tells you. Oh, is it crafting there? Allowed crafting skill. Interesting. So we could get Ethan 
to work on making us some decent weapons. So nobody else is really good at crafting. And to be honest, crafting's really good for stone cutting. So if I told you simple helmet, what does that require? Could be out of any of these. Hmm. What's that steel looking like? Uh, non-existent. Okay. Let's see how much we get in terms of plasteel from the mechanoids. And we might make a plasteel helmet. Oh. Oh my god. Well, Cobra's killed it. Alpaca 5 is dead. God damn it. They just sneak right in. They just literally do a right good sprint. I bet you're thinking of coming in as well. Get hunted, son. There's not really much we can do about it, though. Because we could wall it off and have some doors, which would stop them getting in. But then that just means that that's a, a target for raiders to beat down every single time. It's just... Really annoying. Plus, we've got to deal with the river as well, which we can never fully block off our base because of. Come on, Mandox. You've got this. You've got this, Mandox. I mean, you are destroying my wall right now. You've given up. Okay, that was uh, glorious. That's all I'll say about that. And Butler's there to clean up the mess. Right, it seems as though power is now an issue. Interesting. With all of our new tables in place, I'm not actually that surprised. So, let's add some more wind turbines, I guess. Add one there. And one there. We'll get those running off. And... I'm going to put normal flooring underneath it. Or do I want to just do this? This does help with growing skills, so I suppose we could do the similar situation as we did outside. So if you make a growing zone, like so. Ah, oh, we're going to be separating our growing zones, are we? Um, tell it to make roses. Like so. And then they'll cut down all the trees and never allow them to grow. It's pretty sweet. Except for in that spot. That spot right there. Doesn't grow anyway. And we'll get some wood out of it. As far as steel is concerned. Is that granite by the way? That's slate. Is that granite? That's sandstone. Never mind. Right, where's the next steel vein for us then? Right there. Orders, mine. Mine that bit out. Orders, mine that bit out. We've got loads of steel hanging around here. 870 more than enough to cover the wind turbines. And there's even some components there. But I don't think components... No, they're not something we're struggling with, which is kind of surprising. Usually I always struggle with that kind of stuff. But there they go. Mm. Wonderful. And the Cobra's down. Okay. <laughs> ah, beautiful. I kind of prefer the dandelions, to be honest, because the symmetry is just weird. Don't like it. I like the randomness of just completely filling this with dandelions. It just seems a lot better. <laughs> but, whatever. It's not so important, to be honest. How's our granite coming along? 150. Okay, so what we can do is... First of all, we'll forbid that one from being built. Oh no, it's almost finished, so never mind. We won't forbid that from being built. We'll wait for it to be built. Harmon's idle. What does Harmon usually do, and why is he not doing it? 
art is something you could do. Is art not something available? I feel like the the stock is actually based on the amount of sculptures we have currently in our base as well, which I don't like. <laughs> to be honest, I really wish it would be whatever sat in the stockpile waiting to be done. But there you go. Cancel that. Ah. Hopefully we got something back for that. Let's make a grand sculpture. Do until we have two. There we go. Also, don't use steel. Don't use granite. It's granite we're going to be using for our walls for the next couple of episodes, so I want to make sure they're not using anything important. There we go. Should use sandstone then, probably. And we've just got ourselves a power upgrade. Wonderful. I reckon we could probably turn on the turrets constantly now, thanks to that. We'll have to see. No, it's Mandox that's idle. That's fine. Alright, now that that's been done, let's order the deconstruction of some of our wall. Let's go with this bit here. Deconstruct that. We'll replace it with granite, which we've got plenty of, which should give us loads of marble, which is what we're using to build all of our buildings, our interior. And then we can actually change this wooden wall to a marble wall when we get to that point. I'm not sure where I want to put the stockpile. Near the entrance is always useful. But that's not really an option unless I shift some of the stuff that's already surrounding this stockpile and just simply add an extra layer to it. Alternatively, we could just do what we've been doing though and spreading out all of the materials to wherever they're appropriate. Make production rooms specifically for certain tasks. And then we know where to find things as well. And if we want to sell them, then this should go into this stockpile, essentially. So raw materials go in a production room, finished products go in the stockpile. Alright. Granite blocks. Let's get ready to fill this out. It should be 130. We've got enough materials for that. Good. And Bishop is now binging on alcohol. Wonderful. Hospital beds have been finished. Okay. Uh, let's see. So. Multi-analyzer. We want the multi-analyzer. I thought the microelectronics basics was actually going to unlock that, but I didn't read. So we want that so it'll actually speed up our research time. We can stick that on the side of our research bench then, which would be pretty sweet. Alright. Fridge looks to be almost full. Let's extend those packaged survival meals a little bit further. Alcohol addiction! Oh, great! Well done, Bishop! Always a pleasure being addicted to alcohol for you, isn't it? I assume you're, uh, yeah, you've got a chemical interest, so I couldn't stop you even if I wanted to, for the most part. I think I'd have to lock you in your room and make you go cold turkey, because I cannot change the drug policy. So I could say, don't use beer for addictions and for joy, like so. He's not allowed to drink, but the chemical interest side of it will actually bypass that occasionally. Unusual interest in chemical sources of enjoyment. He'll consume more of them and will sometimes go on social drug binges. He will ignore directives to not use pleasurable drugs. So, 
he's pretty much stuck as he is. Might get himself killed by an overdose. We'll see. Certainly right now. Oh, he's only tipsy. He does have a tolerance to it, which kind of helps. But he's going to end up with uh, cirrhosis. Which is something that you don't want. And he's throwing up. Which gives some jobs for our cleaners. Right, um... Lumi's asleep. Who's our next best warden? That would be Harmon. Yep. Harmon. Go talk with Tranka, please. I'm sure they don't have anything useful. But it's worth having a look. Maybe we can sell them some of our crap that we don't have a use for. They've got 75 silver with them. They actually have... Ooh. 2,115. Uh, well, we can sell them a few of our crappy bits of clothing. Take their 75 silver off them at the very least, I suppose. 69. There we go. Just leave it at that. Don't even want their herbal med. Hmm. There you go. Have some clothing. Oh, Bishop. What's our granite situation? 26. Okay. Has any of that hauling been done? They're doing it right now. Good. Good, good. Oh, there's so much over here. And that's all granite as well. Get all that hauled. Uh, it's interesting how the uh, the people who don't do hauling or cleaning always have nothing to do. Annoying. That's why I don't like the incapable of dumb labour thing. Not much we can do about it, mind you, but... Right, let's have a look at a hospital bed. Needs ten medicine. We only have five. Okay. I have to keep that in mind, try not to use the medicine when we don't have to then, because we want to stockpile some up. We also want to get some neurotamine as well, but the current only place that we can go right now, for the most part anyway, that's not like half a mile away, is the Black Tree. And we've been there recently, so I don't expect that they've... Um... Does they all want that destroyed, do they? We get Thrumbo Horn for killing it. Yeah, I think this place is the nearest one, and right now, that take us 5.9 days as opposed to the 1.4 days it takes us to get here. And there's no guarantee that they have any neurotamine either, which is not ideal. How long does it take to get to there? That's what I want to know. 10.2 days. That's Rock Hope. To his Leo faction. So they are friendly. But that's a lot of food that we'd have to take with us. I don't think we have 10 point, uh, 20 days worth of food for a caravan. Bishop's no longer binging on alcohol. Let's see what he's done to himself. Large alcohol tolerance. He's just tipsy. And now he's addicted as well. Great. And we're producing more beer. Oh, if only I could just lock this door for everyone but Bishop. Then he'd never, ever, ever touch the beer. Which would be good. Fortunately, that's not something we have available to us. A party. Lumi's throwing a party. Everybody who goes will gain joy and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. Wonderful. And I reckon they're also getting a boost for... No, they don't really uh, care about this room that they're in right now. Fair enough. Is it not a beautiful room? It's neutral. Ah, it's got dirt all over it. That would explain a lot. Cooler is broken down. Not one of the important ones. It's fine. Everything in here is... Uh, very, very well constructed. She's good. 
Oh, mm. goods trader. Sweet. Is it a big caravan? It's a pretty large caravan. They are tribes people though, so I imagine they've not got any neurotamine on them. If they've got any cloth, I might consider... Have we been tailoring out of cloth? Hang on. I think we've been tailoring out of cloth. We don't want that. Not just yet, anyway. <laughs> Remind me if I forget. Wonder why the cloth's not being used. It's because I don't want them to. So I wanted to use that for a pool table. Get a hundred alpaca wool per alpaca. Nice. Can make some furniture with that. Uh, Lume. Please go trade with black. Thank you. Okay, they do have cloth, so we want to buy, I think it's 80. That is a lot. We can sell a fair bit back though, so. Do you have any neurotamine? No, not that I can see. Could also buy a Plasteel Simple Helmet as well. Let's see how we go about selling all of our clothing that we've been producing. Just sell it all, really. We produce enough right now. We're kind of a clothing trader at the moment. Look at that. They're still giving us 700. Beautiful. Sell them all of our beer as well. Get that out of here. Could sell them a bit of the herbal meds as well. Let's sell... 30. Could just sell all 42, actually. So we've got 75 left over. I don't think we're going anywhere near that anytime soon. Sell the rat leather, panther skin. Stuff in the single digits is utterly useless to us. And let's see what else. I think that's about it. Right, so let's buy that Plasteel helmet. Essentially buying it for 302 after we sell all of our stuff. Which is fine. We want that helmet because I don't want anybody getting instant killed by a headshot. And we don't want any of your food either. Could sell a bit of our food actually. We do have quite a lot of it. Let's sell the chicken eggs. And 225 potatoes and some of our rice. Yeah, we keep the meat around. So they're giving us 45 and a helmet for all of our clothing, a bit of our food and whatnot. Not too bad. Uh, Lumi, have you already equipped said helmet or have you moved it? I don't see it. I don't want it degrading outside, that's all. Is it in there? I don't see it. Maybe somebody's wearing it. Maybe I sold it and didn't notice. Also a possibility. Here comes the boomer up. It's going to attack the tribes people most likely, but I'll turn on the turrets just in case it does decide it wants to walk right past them. There they go. Sweet. Um, I don't really want all of the local forest burning down, so please put it out. Ah, oh, fire. Never mind. That'll also do it. Leave it alone, guys. Mine out that last little bit of silver. Uh, Jaeger. Please haul the cloth. Anybody else from our colony here? Nowhere near. Right, go and haul the rest of that cloth. And then Brian. There we go. Brian. 
Build the billiards table. Sweet. Go on, do a good job. Even if you don't do a good job, we're probably keeping it. Superior. Wonderful. Right. Remove those plans. Remove that plan. Um, what I want to do is also change the minimum crafting skill to 10 on that. And then on here... Uh, anything 10 or below for you guys. So what's this going to allow me to do... Oh, this is construction skill. Actually. Oh. I didn't realise that was the case. Oh. Well, Ethan. Disassemble those mechanoids for me, buddy. And we've got a psychic ship. The first one on our run. Ah, dear. Mysterious crash piece of a spaceship. It may contain exotic materials. Computers are even AI personas. This kind of technology can be dangerous. You're damn straight. We want to be able to build up a uh, turret situation. I think the last time we lost was because I moved some of my turrets away. So I might actually just contr um, build extra ones and just in uninstall them when we're done. To make them portable. That kind of thing. So Ethan should go and disassemble the mechanoids, or has he just got... Ah, he's priority... Priority one on tailoring there. I want you to disassemble. Do that first. There we go. And the last one. Trade caravan's leaving. Good. Disassemble that. Get some components, get some plasteel. How much plasteel have we got? 75. How much is it to make a helmet? 70. Alright. Minimum crafting skill. Clear all. And get plasteel, steel. Make me a simple helmet. Sweet. Oh, for God's sake, we've got a panther. Ah. Draft. Everybody out here. We've got an interesting choice of units drafted here. Alright. Hunt. There we go, block him. There we are, spreading the damage. Thank you, Panther. Alright, you guys get back to what you were doing. You two destroy him. Thank you. Ah, Mandox is actually hunting, so that's fine. Go do what you want. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to end off the episode because we have run on long enough. So if you have enjoyed the content, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a great deal. Let me know you're enjoying the series. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon as well right next to the subscription button. And that will give you notifications when I release new videos. I do hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.